right, so my project was on the coronavirus mortality in about 50 countries. Okay, so this is the setup. So uh, of the data, I could, I could choose a lot of what I wanted. So I said deaths per million. And I did that because I wanted to make it as a proportion. So smaller countries would be able to be compared to bigger countries without a really big gap. Um, and so that's a deaths from corona compared to the total population. So if uh, one person uh, died from corona in a population of 100,000, uh, it would be one over 100,000. Uh, but so I, thought, so I thought it was the most accurate measurement than total deaths. And, but this is not case about fatality. So it does not describe how many people who get corona die. It just describes how many people would get corona in a population and die. Um, and then so I did total deaths since the start of the outbreak. And so I didn't choose like start in March or like February. I started whenever people started getting it. Um, and I did the top 50 countries with the most. And so this was less data for me to compute, and uh, it accomplishes the, the purpose of finding the countries with the most uh, coronavirus-related deaths. Uh, looking back, I probably would do more countries because the data would uh, look better, just because I would have more, you could see the actual range and uh, the, of all the deaths. Okay, here's some stats. I did this on ooh, Google Sheets. Mm. Oops. Oh, that's not good. You're going to have to give me access. Okay. Yeah, this is one of the things, and don't worry about it here, but if you do these presentations, you know, you got to make sure all this stuff works ahead of time. And that's certainly not Peter's fault, but. Sometimes the links don't work like this, so we'll see how this works. There, is that it? Uh, yep. Okay. Okay, so these are the countries on the left side, and then that's per million on that side. So, can I go down? See, there's a 50 down here, that's for there, and I, it's an ascending order, or descending order, because Kuwait at the bottom with 130, everybody's higher than Kuwait. And if you go to uh, 11 or 12, you can see that that's where America is. Uh, right there, USA is 12 on that with the deaths of 597. Above it is 600, below is uh, a lot more. Um, and if you go to the very top, you can see that San Marino is the highest with 1237. Uh, one of the reasons I think that's 1237 is that it's densely populated and also a very small country. So there's less, uh, more land to, for Corona to go around. And for my descriptive statistics, uh, the number, 50 of them, the mean is 370.66. Uh, the median is 274.5, and there's actually four modes, so four things repeated two times. 612, that was UK and Ecuador. 442, 197, and 183. The min was 130 at Kuwait, max uh, 1237 at San Marino. The range was about 1107. The first quartile was 186.5, that's where a lot of them were at, the 180s. Uh, and then Q3 was 569.25. That's around where uh, America was. I put this uh, maybe by Sweden. That was by Sweden and Mexico in between there. Uh, and the interquartile range was 382.75, and the mid range was 683.5. So this is my box and whisker plot. So you can see here that the majority of the data is here, but there's a big outlier on that side. This is my stem and leaf plot. You can see all of the uh, 130s there, and it slowly starts to get away 
But there seems to be a, apparently a judging of the 600s, which I thought was a little weird. Okay, so this is a map of where you can see all the countries that have the deaths per million. So you see America here, South America here, this Brazil, uh, Europe, and Iran. Those are some of the major ones that have a lot of uh, deaths per million. So what does this mean? So on the top 50, since Martin and the Netherlands are around the mean, with 442 and 365 DPMs, the world DPM rate is 118.3. So if you take the total population of the world and the total deaths, you get 118.3. So you can see that it actually is a lot higher than the world deaths per million rate. So the top five are San Marino, Peru, Belgium, and Andorra, and Spain. The median is between Iran and the Channel Islands at 273 and 276 DPMs, respectively. And the lowest is Kuwait with a DPM of 30, 130. And that is uh, Sint Martin, right there, that nice castle. So my conclusion, um, so when I was looking at this, I wanted to do G GDP, but uh, I saw that there was a kind of a trend in where it was. So I found that the countries that were most hard hit were the, actually the Americas and Europe. So only six of the 50 countries were Asian, and two were African. So the highest of these was ranked 22, Armenia, an Asian country that had 307 DPMs and three scores from the median of the 50 countries accounted for. So it's three scores higher. So it's actually rather near the middle of the data. And so the rest of the 42 countries were in Europe or in the Americas. The highest DPM was recorded in San Marino, a tiny country in Europe. The second was Peru. So you see Europe and Americas. They had one, two, three, seven, and 922 DPMs respectively. And again, the world rate is 118.3. So why is it so high? Well, I can't really tell you because of the scope of my data. My data is supposed to just tell you uh, the reported deaths in all the world. So, I mean, there could be a lot of answers, population density of the countries, national policies, etc. But there could also be fraudulent data, like with intent, like the government with China covered up theirs in uh, January and December. Uh, there could be citizens like individual doctors uh, just uh, have a financial incentive, although that is disputed among if there is a lot of that. And there's without intent, so bad tests. Bad tests have the early ones, and the ones that are most easy have the most, uh, they don't record correct answers, accurate answers. And there could also be no testing in those countries, like in all the African ones, and Indian. Because uh, I just don't have the test. And that is my sources.